Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, everyone. Please pay attention to this video so that you will understand the damage Ijele speak, aka uh, Udele, known as uh, the real name is uh, Chukoko Febu, Chigoromo Febu. Watch, he is the one who carried out the activities that happened in the final age of us house. Watch this video and listen attentively. Thank you. The judgment of the Federal High Court of Nigeria. Oka Judicial Division, delivered by Honorable Justice H. A. Ngajewa, Ngajewa, on the bloody invasion of my ancestral home by the operative of the Nigerian police, the State Security Services, the Nigerian Army, and one Chuku Kachizoram of Febu, aka Ijera Speaks. On the sixth day of June 2021, the world was awoken with the shocking news of the second unprovoked bloody invasion of my ancestral home in no Monakwai Fiteori, the Ekusigo local government area of Anambra State, by the operators of the state of Nigerian police, Nigerian police force, the DSS, the Nigerian army, and one Chukuoka, Chizoram of Febu, aka Ijele Speaks, during which murderous invasion, my personal assistant, late Mr. Samuel Okoro, was gruesomely murdered, as you can see in the clip. It is pertinent to note that the dastardly act was clearly captured by the CCTV camera within and around my compound, and the published footage speaks for itself. The murderers and fathers did not stop at the later murder of my PA. They also abducted my elder brother, Mr. Joel Ejofo, during this invasion, and three of my domestic staff, namely Felix Okonkwo, my driver, Oka for Lawrence Sukochuku, my gardener, and Ike Nashibike, my steward. These direct descendants of Stetan thereafter dragged and dumped the lifeless body of my murdered PA <coughs> inside the boot of my Toyota Camry car, which they made away with upon the conclusion of their evil assignment submission in my house. The corpse of my late PA was subsequently set ablaze, ablaze inside my Toyota car immediately after. Okata Flint Station in the Nene town, an national government of Anambra State. This was shortly after they had pushed out my elder brother, Mr. Joel Ejofo, from their car. And the SSS, all the head of security agents involved to formally request for thorough investigation of the dastardly act, which was ostensibly targeted at terminating my life, but for sheer act of providence. But unfortunately, despite receiving the aforesaid letters of complaint, the head of the Nigerian police force, the DSS, and the Nigerian army, whose personnel perpetrated this heinous crime, never investigated the bloody that the abduct my, my abducted domestic staff are being detained at the facility of the DSS national headquarters here at Abuja. To date, I'm with this information. I'm, I'm with this information. I demanded for their immediate and unconditional release, which did not stop at writing to the director of the general of the SS, but I personally approached the offices, the appropriate department, to request for their release. Unfortunately, the effort still did not yield the desired result. As it stands now, the DSS can no longer continue to deny detaining the innocent civilians abducted from my ancestral home. This is now crystal clear and can no longer be contested. Because let me add this to my statement. One of my 221, between Mr. Ifanye Jofo, my humble self, then Nigerian police, first respondent, the Inspector General of Police, the State Security Services, Director General of SSS, the Nigerian Civil Defense Corps, the Nigerian Army, the Chief of Army Staff, and Chuku Kachizoram of Febu, aka Jealous Speaks. The judgment is here. I will also avail you of the soft copies and also the hard copies of the judgment, which is more decisive than even the statement I'm talking about. I'm holding. For the purpose of emphasis and clarity, we wish to respectfully reproduce declarations and orders constituting the judgment of His Lordship as follows to wit. One, in the contents of this declaration, I would like you to appreciate that when I refer to first respondent, Second, third, fourth, fifth, and seventh. It means the Nigerian police, the Nigerian DSS, then and also Nigerian army. So 
the declaration is made by the court that the brutal and violent invasion of the of my premises that is applicant less than the normal people the new local government area of Anambra State on the sixth day of June two twenty one at about two thirty a.m. by the first first respondent in this context the police the SSS the army and the one to go and their agent by shooting sporadically and indiscriminately into the into my home that's applicant home which you know which could have killed the applicant and which ultimately resulted in the killing of the applicant personal assistant that's my pa and abduction of my domestic staff is oppressive and a gross violation of the applicant's right to life life that's my my right dignity of human person fair hearing right to private and family life and peaceful assembly and association guaranteed by 1999 constitution of the federal of Nigeria as amended to, to, to 11 and Africa Charter of Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement Act Cap 10 Law of Religion of Nigeria 1990. Two, these are orders made by court. A declaration is made that the taking away and subsequent burning of my of applicant right to Utah Camry car, which is my car, with restriction number YAB 60 CB, together with the dead body of Mr. Samuel Okolo, that's my PA, and other vital documents and valuable bearing. On the sixth day of June 2021, is illegal, oppressive, unlawful, and amount to gross violation of my fundamental right to property guaranteed by the 1999 Constitution of the of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as amended to 11, and African Charter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement Act Cap 10, LFN 1990. One, three, another of perpetual injunction is made by court, restraining the first as the police, the SSS, the military, and also the one Chukuka, Chukuka, the respondent. Their agent previous, previous, and house over called from further harassing, intimidating, threatening, or taking further steps in an attempt to terminate my life, that's African life, or destroying the, my properties, African properties. Four, another of perpetual injunction is made by court, restraining the first, that's the police, the SSS, and the military, and the other respondent. Their agent previous, and house over called. For further harassing, intimidating, threatening to illegally arrest and on torture the applicant. That's me. The fifth order. Another is made directing the first as the police, the SSS, the military, and the aid respondent jointly and severally to forthwith compensate the applicant, that is me, for destroy to Utah Camry Camry Car with the same number number YAB 60 C B in the sum of five million naira, being the value of the purchase price. Because we are attached to the seat of purchase of, the, of that camera at the point uh, during the hearing of the matter. Number six, another is made by court directing the first that the police, the second, third, fourth, sixth, and seventh, that's police, the military, and SSS, and eight respondents to transfer to tender on reserve apology to the applicant, that's me, in two national delis, that's the order of court. Then number seven, the sum of 100 million naira only is awarded to me, that's the applicant, against the Nigerian police against the SSS, against the Nigerian military, and the eighth respondent, jointly and severally, as general and exemplary damages on, compens on compensation for applicant violation of his for violation of my, my fundamental right. Then eight, the sum of two million naira only awarded to me against the police, also against the police, against the military, against the SSS, and the eight respondents. Join me and severally as cause for filing and prosecuting the suit. This is the judgment of the court. Then the final order. An order is made by the court directing the first, that is Nigerian police, and also the IG, and also the SSS and the DGSSS, and the chief of army staff and the, and the, and the army staff, and the army, and the eight responded to identify all those officers you have seen here, you have seen on this clip, to identify them. Who participated in carrying out this dastardly act and must be sanctioned or punished accordingly. That is the order of court. So, so for a better appreciation of the gravity of the heinous activities of these murderers, parading as security agents who have sold their conscience to the devil, it is compelling to reproduce extract the excerpt from the judgment of his lordship on his findings, which is contained on page 32 of the judgment. Of that of the erudite jurist of the judgment, the erudite jurist that the judge stated as follows, and I quote in the language of the court, I'm quoting the findings of the court the way the court said it. 
And please, I will crave that audience to pay attention to this. The court said, and I quote, Before I conclude, I wish to state that after watching the CCTV camera footage, which I believe should be the mode all of you are into now, is bit A, which is bit A. I ran out of words to express my feelings to what I saw. I couldn't believe what I saw was done by human beings, like us and the applicant. In the first place, there was nothing shown why the applicant's house was invaded. Even if he had committed murder, the respondent went too far by taking the law into their hands. The applicant or the, or the applicant or the occupants of the house and the neighbors on since the day of June 2021 were traumatized psychologically, mentally, socially, and the otherwise. Again, the PA lost his life out of overzealous officers act, who to my mind are not human beings. They are not supposed to be in the service and be given responsibilities. May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace. No amount of compensation can bring him back to life. The loss or injury suffered cannot be healed forever. It is really very sad and unfortunate. This should be brought to book. And I close. That's position close. That is the, the language of the court. The condemnation the court has given to this doctor's act in his findings. We cannot agree less. <clears throat> The trauma we unarguably live with us and the members of our entire family, including those of my PAs, my slim PA, and our blooded staff for the rest of our lives. The CCTV footage, which you have just watched, is explicit, explicit and compelling. It is interesting to observe that the motive behind this bloody onslaught on my, on my home is, clear, is clearly to quietly terminate my life with those of anyone seen in my house. And thereafter, carefully cover up every traces that will implicate the perpetrators. Otherwise, why would they destroy the CCTV camera at my entrance gate? Why would they murder someone in his sleep? A person who never resisted arrest, as you can see in the, in the, in the footage, and proceed to set his cuffs ablaze, principally to cover up any trace. This happened in Nigeria of the 21st century. Nobody is asking questions. Nobody has taken action. But we declare at this point in time that the spirit of late Samuel Okolo, my PA, will continue to haunt every person who directly or indirectly participated in the murderous attack in my home. Our findings have since disclosed that one AIG, John Abang, <coughs> who is still serving today as AIG in the Nigerian Police Force, was directly involved in the planning and execution of this attack in my peaceful home. He was actively involved. I can confirm to the world. And police refused to have called him out severally and police refused to investigate him. If I thought they are uh, fending ignorance of what happened in my house, they, they, they pretend they pretend to know what happened, what happened in my house. He commanded the entire oppression from the comfort of his office in Abuja. Hence, we hereby challenge the Nigerian police force to investigate AIG John Abak. Or the Abang telephone calls and messages between the 5th and 7th of June 2021. When that is done, I can tell you that they will confirm is the one that commanded of that little oppression. He commanded it. He sent them after my life. Thank you. So, secondly, what are, my, what are my domestic staff doing in the facility of SSS since 2020, June 2021 to date? Why, haven't, why have they refused to release the innocent staff? Is it to prevent them from narrating firsthand what they witnessed during the murderous attack in my home? Or the ordeal they have suffered in the hands of these monsters? The dentists of these monsters are known. They are known. And they must be fished out for appropriate punishment and sanction. As has ordered by his lordship in his judgment. We ask again, what offense did I commit? That the state is aggressively but, but clandestinely deploying her security agents to hack me down at all costs by enemies, simply because I'm a lawyer who is effectively defending the law of IPOB, Mazin Nam Bekana, and the IPOB worldwide in general. I have not recorded any defeat and loss in any of the IPOB cases I've handled since 2015 to date. I have not. For the records, we have effectively kept the international community and responsible foreign government at risk of prejudice and persecution have been subjected to in the hands of the Nigerian state for rendering my professional services to the leader of IPOB and IPOB, who have been persecuted by the Nigerian government for merely exercising their rights to self-determination, established provided for under our laws and relevant international government and instruments. Nevertheless, we seize this medium to call on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, retired General Muhammad Buhari, and the Attorney General of the Federation to prevail on the Director of the Director of SSS to immediately, to immediately and unconditionally release my domestic staff, still being held illegally in their facility since June 6th, 2020 date, and consequently ensure immediate compliance 
with all the terms of the judgment already served on them. I will give you copies of the Nigerian government to immediately and unconditionally release Mazen Dambikano, the law of IPOB, who has been held in solitary confinement in the facility of SSS since 26th of July 2021 today. It is to be noted, therefore, that this communication has been served on the federal government of Nigeria and their compliance is certainly expected and they must comply with it. In conclusion, this, this and gentlemen of the press, we will certainly invite the United Nations, European Union, the government of the United States of America, United Kingdom and other foreign governments and Amnesty International, who are all in receipt of our correspondences in respect to the foregoing subject, to prevail on the Nigerian government to ensure immediate compliance, so obedience to the judgment of a court of competent judicial delivered in this case, as well as the immediate implementation and justice, no matter whose us is God. All glory, honor, adoration, and praise will be given to His holy name. Amen. Thank you all for being